So, you're telling me you want to do a slick back and you think it's awesome? Well, here's the reality behind it. So, the reality behind slick backs is that you do need a good amount of length to pull up and backwards. If you have straight, finer hair, I typically recommend past the eyes. That way, you can actually pull it back and it'll stay. But, if you have wavier hair, not too much length around the eyes, you can start pulling up and back a little bit easier. Again, slick backs typically are more so for straighter, wavier hair. If you have curly or even type 4 coily hair, kind of difficult. As for the sides, if you like the tighter undercut look, go ahead, grab a high skin fade, but you might run the risk of looking like Brad Pitt from Fury or Pidgeotto from Pokemon, which might be a little bit more realistic. As for me, I like to keep the top and the sides a bit more connected. I'd go for a mid to low skin fade or even a mid to low taper. Keep the sides a little bit more dark for more of a natural looking slick back. And if you need some more advice on this hairstyle, click right there.